Anger comes from where? Anger comes from when something in our mind that we want, we didn't get. And then anger comes. Why does anger come when we don't get something that we want? Because we are very selfish. Very selfish. Why? Check yourself out. If someone gives you good words, oh, you feel so happy. When someone gives you gifts, you take it. If someone gives you money, you take it. If someone gives you nice advice and praise you, you accept it. If someone says something to you that you like, you accept it. But if someone says to you something else, how do you act? How you act and how you think and how you react is not that somebody, it is your mind. Why is it your mind? Do you expect the whole world to talk to you nicely? Do you expect the whole world to give you everything, but you never give anything back? Example, which one of you have given me advice? Which one of you have taught me the Dharma? Which one of you have taken care of my loans? Which one of you have paid for my house rental? Which one of you have cooked food and taken care of me when I'm sick? Which one of you have taken me to the hospital? Which one of you have sit here and make sure I'm all right? Even which one of you gave me flowers when I'm very sick this week? Which one of you buy one single flower and put it here and say, Rimchi, I don't have much money, but dear Rimchi, please get well. Which one of you? That shows you your mind. That shows you who you are. So if you're here to take things, if you're here to take things, then wherever you go, you will take things. Wherever you go, you will take things. Wherever you go, if you take things, you will lose respect for yourself. Your mind will not be at peace. And you will feel ashamed. You will feel ashamed. Let me tell you why. Because as we get older, no one can talk to us the way Rinpoche talked to you. Because your mother and father cannot talk to you anymore. Your brothers and sisters, your lovers, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend cannot talk to you anymore. Only Rinpoche is left to talk to you in this manner. And if Rinpoche talks to you in this manner and you still don't accept, then you're lost. Then you think, if Rinpoche has been giving me love and help and advice and care, and suddenly he tells me something. Is it care and advice or is he trying to hurt me? If all the time he hurt people, hurt me, if all the time he do that, then now he must be hurting me. If all the time he helped me, then now he must also be helping me. He must be also helping me. So what we need to do is we need to think about the kindness of others. And instead of getting angry for what we did not get, we have to be happy what we already got. And think how to give back. Be a good person. Be a good man. Be a good woman. And stop the thinking to get things. Now is the time to make your mind think how to give. How to contribute. How to help. How to share. If you always think how to take, your, angry, your anger will get bigger. Let me tell you why. Our mind never has enough. It never has enough. You check when you were 10 years old, when you were 15 years old, when you're 20, when you're 25. As you get older, you want more and more and more things. And your greediness for more things doesn't end. That's a very bad sign. Do you know why? Because even if you get what you want, you will want more. Because what you get is not enough. Then more and more and more. As you get older, you will become unhappy, angry, frustrated. And you know what happened? This is the very bad thing. The thing that we have good now, we will lose it. And we will never get it again. Do you know how many people come and tell me what they have lost? And how they are sad? 